My name is Angela Velasquez Wallace, and I work in physician recruitment for the ambulatory department at UC Davis Health. I've been working for UC Davis Health for about seven years. I remember my childhood pretty well from when I first arrived at the United States. Um, we, my family is from the Texas border. We're from Reynosa, Tamaulipas. And um, so I went to preschool in Texas. So it wasn't completely out of the ordinary for me to be in America. Um, and we moved to Sacramento when I was around five or six. Uh, my dad had family out here. And um, so even though all of my mom's family is in Reynosa, Tamaulipas, we followed my dad here basically. And um, I do remember starting school and my parents used to test me all the time and I would ask them to test me all the English words that I knew, which at the time was like five. I remember I knew how to say horse and hamburger and apple, um, but I didn't know how to speak English. And when they dropped me off at kindergarten for the first time, nobody spoke Spanish. My teachers didn't speak Spanish. Um, and I cried and I remember I was crying because I didn't understand anybody and then the teacher paired me up with another Mexican student who did speak Spanish and he was translating for me all day and um, they were doing their best to help me kind of feel at ease and I do remember eventually kind of calming down and realizing like okay it's not so bad here. My dad is from Monterrey but uh, Nuevo León in Mexico but um, he ended up hiring a fraudulent lawyer and because of it, he ended up with an order of deportation. He decided that it might be safest to self-deport. He had a job opportunity. He was already working with nonprofits here in Sacramento and he was given an opportunity to start like another branch in Central America. And so he decided to take it because he thought it was kind of safety for him um, to be able to continue his career and his work, but in Central America. And um, so he has been living in El Salvador since 2008, and he does community organizing in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Recently, he told me that there was this rural town where the students had to basically cross the border into Honduras to go to school. And um, when he was talking to the community, he asked them, what do you guys want? Do you want, what's your priority? Clean drinking water? roads or a school and after they talked it over they chose a school and so they organized around building a school in this town and they recently won the funding for it which was a huge win for them and i'm, I'm assuming that once the school is built they're going to tackle the roads and the water next and that's kind of like the spirit that my dad instilled in me here in sacramento as well um, i remember from a young age they would take us to <laughs> to the Capitol all the time where we're like, what do we want? Driver's licenses, when do we want them now? And my little sister, even from when she was a toddler, she would know all the chants and stuff because we were constantly advocating. My dad did kind of teach me to, to stand up for others, but so did my mom in like a quiet way. Um, my mom is very giving and my parents have always taught me to be giving. Um, they would give the shirt off their back if they could. We've always been very involved in our community. Um, my mom likes to donate to all sorts of causes and they've really created the person that I am today. So I have two AAs, one in liberal arts and social science. I worked for two nonprofits in Sacramento prior to coming to UC Davis. I became a legal resident in 2017, which was right before I started at UC Davis. And I almost didn't get my job here at UC Davis because they're like, we need your documents, we need your documents. And I was still waiting for them. And um, I think I got it at the nick of time. They had given me a deadline and I think I was like two days late, but I reached out and I said, hey, I just got my documents. Can you please hire me? And um, they still hired me. So that was nice. I think that I found my home at UC Davis. Um, I feel working here like like I am helping the community. Uh, and I do feel like that is a priority at UC Davis. It's a priority to create an atmosphere, not just for patients, but for staff as well, that is inclusive. I think it's hard, hard for someone who hasn't lived the experience to understand sometimes. I admire the heck out of my mom because she left everything behind. I admire her so much because I don't think I would have the courage to do that. I almost feel like I've lived a privilege, privileged life and if somebody told me like pack up and leave everything behind i don't think i would so i really admired their resiliency um, the fact that they survived in a country where they didn't know the customs they didn't know the laws really they didn't know the language your only purpose should be to survive and be happy 
that should be your purpose. And um, I feel like the purpose needs to come from within, not outside. Um, but I do feel like there are things that make us feel fulfilled with ourselves. Like for me, it is helping others. 